Alright, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're still in the middle of quarantine. I think it's like May 25th right now. Um, so I'm just doing a quick little video here of something I'm going to try this turkey season, which starts in tomorrow, actually, is opening day, but it's going to pour here, so I don't think I'll be taking the time off from work to go. But I plan to go out this week a couple times. And I'm still going to be going with the bow, but this year I think I'm going to go back and forth between um, using a blind and um, this half blind that I have with a ghillie suit. And so I'm going to show you just kind of quickly the setup I just did just now. Uh, I was trying to think of something to set up for this week. Uh, I'm taking another guy out that I want to get him his first bird. So I was trying to think of a way to set this up for two people. And basically what I did, and I'll show you here with the camera, is I have one of these half blinds that rolls up. And it is attached to the tripod so I can literally roll this around the tripod and when I get to my spot unroll it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around and kind of show you what this looks like um, and, uh, and a little bit of video of how you can draw back and sneak right up over the the blind and shoot. I've used this before. I think I shot my first bird with a bow using this. Uh, I think it was a Jake years ago I shot one um, with this exact blind actually. Um, and it was a pretty cool and I think don't think I got it on video can't remember but um, it was a pretty cool hunt and it's a lot of fun um, it helps you with the, being able to draw behind it uh, but it's still not super easy because you do have to get up and over without getting busted um, so take a little video and kind of show you how it works so basically this is the front of the blind how it works if you look Right here I have the, the tripod is set up right there. I don't have the camera on it because it's in my hand, but um, my camera has camouflage on it, and I've used it without a blind before, so it works pretty well. Uh, so if you see, I don't have the tripod attached in the very middle pole, and that's because I'm going to have someone else set up over on this side. And it actually, if you see from the back here, there's plenty of room. Uh for someone to set up. I'm going to have him set up there. I'll be set up right here. Have the decoys out near where my how the camera is out that way. And um, basically the shooter can shoot from here, draw back from behind the bow, and then if I get lucky enough and there's another one comes in, or there's two, I can uh, lift up over, grab my bow, and take a shot. Um, and this will work good solo hunting as well. Like I said, I've used it before. You can change the height of the of the blind basically these I've done some modifications but basically these adjust right there and you can lower and um, raise it I think I have it almost at max height right now but I think that's a little too high and so just show a little quick bit here of me taking a shot um, but it's a pretty cool little quick setup if you want something to go kind of run and gun with especially if you have a ghillie suit it helps they come in from behind you. So as you see, the blind set up pretty much this way. I have the camera right here. The bird's coming in from my left or something. I can easily, I can sit behind the blind, look at the viewfinder, keep my head down, get the camera on him. He gets right in on my decoys. I can even look through these holes right here and watch him. Um, he can stay low. Get your bow, get drawn back, pop up over, and shoot wherever you need to shoot. You just got to watch, just like in a regular blind, make sure your arrow isn't going to hit the top of that blind. It's a big no-no. The bird starts to move, boom, you still got all of this. If you need to let down behind the bow thing, Boom, you can do that. All right, I'm gonna show you how I kind of can wrap this thing up here. Right around here, it really doesn't take very long at all. Pretty much just pull all the stakes out. I'll take this first one, kind of take the first one and wrap it around a little bit. And then just kind of roll it. Roll it right into the blind, into the next pole.
just like this. I mean, you can make it smaller if you want, but I like to keep it at the height that the blind's going to be in case I have to quickly whip it out and I'm not adjusting all the poles. And then I'm probably going to use a different tie, but there's this little tie that actually came with the um, with the um, blind itself. And you can just roll that right down on it. And pretty much, you can do a lot of things. If you are really running gunning, you could grab this with your bow and decoys and run. But what I do is I strap this right onto my backpack on the side or the back, and that's it. Just put one strap around it. I get to my spot, and I just take the thing off, throw it in my backpack, kind of unravel it. Just like so. And literally what's holding this to the to the um, tripod is just one little piece of tape right now. I'm just kind of playing around with it just so in case I need to take it off, but you can put more than that on there to hold it. And basically just set your tripod up, grab one of your poles. So I put the middle pole right out. This is the one that's taped to. Just pop one in. And just you configure it however you want. The one key thing is if it is a windy day, So they had set up and I don't know how long it took me, a minute and a half. The key thing is it's a really windy day. Try and get these as tight as you can. Uh, because this will flap around. I mean, I've had it flap around on a windy day and it didn't spook the birds, but I'm sure it can. Sometimes anything can spook a bird. So that's pretty much just a quick rough. I'd probably set it up a little bit better than this, but I just wanted to show you how quickly it is unravel and pack up. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get some videos out soon this week of some turkeys getting killed. I don't know how much I'm going to get out, but we get four weeks. Um, but I'll get some more videos out. I'm going to get some more saddle videos out with my new platform that I'm making more mods to. Um, but keep looking for some more vids to come out. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Good luck hunting.